What's up YouTube? What's up YouTube? It's your boy King Daniax. We're back with another tutorial. This has to be number one. This actually has to be the first tutorial before the other one, the Dodge and Ben one. This time I'm gonna show you how to make the skin smooth. As you can see, we're gonna remove all the blemishes, dark spot, and other unnecessary part of the skin. The first thing you have to do is to recognize the picture, find the picture you want to work on. I decided to work on that one. This is a shoot I did like three days ago. So I, I decided I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to use Lightroom and Photoshop. I'm just going to use Lightroom to adjust the colors and then Photoshop to, to, to work on the texture, the skin tones texture. So the first thing you have to do to link uh, Lightroom to Photoshop and then back to Lightroom, you have to just right click here and then come to edit and then edit in Photoshop. Or you can also open as a smart object on Photoshop so you can also have the options to adjust on camera raw. So without wasting any time, let's just edit in Photoshop. Okay, here's our picture on Photoshop. This is how it will appear on Photoshop. Make sure your, your, your colors are calibrated. Make sure your colors are calibrated. If you don't know what that means, I, I have to do another tutorial on that. Because sometimes you might find that your Lightroom colors, they don't match your Photoshop colors. So make sure your colors are calibrated. The first thing we have to do, we are creating a frequency separating. Something that will separate the details and the colors of the skin so you can work on it separately. So you come to your, your, your image here and just duplicate it with Ctrl J. Duplicate it uh three two times which is like this and this one and then name the bottom now name the bottom one color oh and name the other one details and then from there just hide the details like this and then come to colors and then select colors and then you go to filter go to blur and then go select gaussian blur and when you adjust gaussian blur make sure you adjust it that you can you can you can only see the other parts of the subject of other parts of your model but you can't see the skin details because we're trying to remove uh, the blemishes so adjust it until it blurs out all the un imp imperfections of the skin you don't have to overdo it you'll have to adjust a bit higher so i'm just gonna put it around uh, 11 or let me just type that in and then let's do this and then you unhide details and then you come here and then you go to image up here apply image then you make sure your layer you go to layer and select colors and then invert and then go to your blending and select add blending add and then make sure your scale is up to two your scale is two and then just press ok and then you go to normal up here and just select linear light another trick i do when i want to balance the skin tone is i add another layer just select down here on colors and add layer and name this one tones just like that and just select here and then press shift and press here and Control g to group it and just name it frequency separation or just write fs so this is where the, the fun part comes in i'm just going to show you one trick they say a magician never reveals their secret, but I'm going to reveal one secret of mine. In order to recognize uh, the imperfections of the skin, select details here and go to curves. And then adjust your curves from the, from the shadows and bring it down here and, and bring it just on the middle. And then select your highlights also and just bring them up here. And then you go to details. Select details and bring it back to normal. As you can see, now it's showing all the imperfections of the skin. Go back to curves and just adjust it until you can see everything. Okay, let me just adjust the highlights. Something like this. Now we know where to work on and which part of, which part of the skin needs more adjusting and so on. This is something that you can't see without doing this trick. So it's a trick that I've learned. It works better for me. So this login might take a while. I'm just going to fast forward. So you, can, you go to details, select details, and then you come to stem tool. Just select here. It's a stem tool. Clone, clone stem tool. Just select here. Or you can also select your spot healing brush tool. 
let's start with the spot healing press tool if you don't see the circle here uh, please press cap locks so caps lock on your keyboard and here we go make sure the edges are softer by coming here just right click anywhere with your brush and then usually you'll find it around here on hardness just put it below 10 something like this because it will make the edges softer and just heal the skin like this especially when you see where you see dark spot just heal the skin like this so we're just gonna fast forward just gonna show you how to do it heal the skin like this so another way to make this process faster usually i use clone stem tool just select here and then you come here and you select a sample and then you clone it to cover that imperfection or spot so you're just gonna press alt on your keyboard and clone this one and just replace it here as you can see it's doing it it's it, it's making it easier and a bit faster let's start below here just gonna clone this one to here the healing brush tool you see it's creating sort of like a blur which is something that i don't like seeing so i'm just gonna clone this one and just cover here because the thing about photography is not just about having a very expensive camera if you understand your lighting also because it becomes more difficult to retouch a picture that is actually a, a picture that has more noise uh, if your lighting is not that good so guys uh, I can say I'm done with the imperfections that I can see on the face. We just have to work on the body now. On the neck, I can see something here. Just remove it. And uh, to zoom in and to zoom out, just press plus on your keyboard. Plus on your keyboard. And uh, not on the on the number key, but on the above the L, next to space, just press plus. Uh, but you have to select control and then press plus control minus to zoom in control plus to zoom out control minus something like that i i think it's similar on every windows software i don't know if you're using a mac but you have to i think it's command 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 plus command minus so i can say i'm done now i love what i did here but you can't see the effect you have to hide curves here just select here and come to normal and just return it back to linear light before and then yes after before and then there's after now you can also press control plus to zoom in and then remove the imperfections that you can see now with your eyes without using that with that technique that i, I gave you Please make sure if you see something like this, you have to come and change here your sample into current layer. Now it was below layer and change it back to current layer. Sorry, I forgot to tell you that. Let's do that. Clone this one and cover it here. Clone, cover. Let's come here. I also see a mistake I made here. Clone, cover. This actually is something that you have to know. Because most of the time I see pictures on Facebook, like the photographer they didn't put enough effort on the pictures. Because I believe that, that, that a, a photographer's job is to deliver something to a client that the client never seen before. I don't know if I'm making sense, you know. Because now we have uh, smartphones with great cameras. If you are hired to be a photographer, make sure you capture a moment that the client cannot capture with their iPhone, Huawei or Samsung. So my job is to make sure I remove all the imperfections and make my client feel happy and see something, you know, even if you have to make them look younger than they are, just make them smile, you know, because I don't think there's any client who say, no, I don't like how I look. If you, you did a very good, good, good retouching job, well, they're not going to give you any problem. They're actually going to recommend you to other people, you know, because you gave them something that they never seen, you know. Otherwise, this job is simple if you don't put enough effort in it. But if you put a lot of effort, actually, it's incredible. It will separate you from other photographers, you know, something that you have to learn. So I can say this is our final picture for now. Uh, next tutorial, it's continuing. The next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your tones 
to get all those colors to balance these colors as you can see here it's dark here it's a bit light you know just to balance all these colors and then from this from this part i'm just gonna show you how to also adjust here and then this video will continue with the first video i uploaded which is dodge and burn which will show you how to adjust this but i was using a different image same girl same shoot nothing changed so thank you guys please subscribe leave a question below danny x signing out